Hello. My name is Andrew Hendry. I'm a professor in the biology department and the Red Path Museum at McGill University. I'm also the coordinator for Biology 111. Biology 111 is really all about the natural world at the organismal level. That is individual organisms interacting with the world around them and how they do so. And all of that in an evolutionary context for how the diversity of life came to be. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the whole COVID-19 situation and how we're trying to uh, innovate in our teaching to bring you something really exciting for the fall semester. One of my favorite ways of talking about the way evolution works is through a interpretive dance or a metaphor called the drunkard's walk for evolution. So I previously did it within class, uh, but now I'm going to take you out and I'm going to do that uh, in a particular natural setting that will be relevant to the question. I had previously brought in for the lecture on reptiles, I brought in a snake. We can't bring you a live snake now, but I can do something better. I can take you down into my wife's ball python breeding room and show you the incredible diversity of color variation in these snakes and talk to you a little bit about the biology and the genetics that we're trying to understand about how they evolve. When I lectured on mammals previously, I would show a lot of videos from the camera traps that I've set up at my cabin in British Columbia. But what I'll be able to do this year is I will actually take you out virtually to these locations, including drone footage of where we do this work, and we will talk together about how we're trying to understand animal behavior, particularly mammals, through the use of camera trap technology. You can bring us out into your natural world or into the more um, constructed world around you, and we can try and understand some of the biodiversity there. We'll be using in our labs an app called iNaturalist, which is a way to record natural history observations around you in your physical world. And then we will use those and download data from iNaturalist to analyze biodiversity in the physical locations that we find ourselves in the world. For labs, we will also help you design and implement your own independent project where you can collect data and do an experiment that is guided by TAs in a small lab group uh, from your own home. We're excited about the prospect of re-envisioning the course as we deliver it to you, both with respect to lectures and also with respect to labs. And we look forward to you joining us in the fall so that we can uh, try out this experiment together. And I can assure you that all of your professors are working hard to come up with a really exciting and interesting way to convey to you the splendor of biodiversity and how it came to be and how it interacts with the world around it. Thank you, and I look forward to seeing you in the fall.